construction. They're not really that great at building things, but boy, can they tear something down. The family unit, the English language, gender. But physically as well, the left's a wrecking ball. In 2020, they torched cities and toppled statues, statues of the people who built the country. No one was safe. <laughs> As for Democrats in D.C., they said, let the people do what they want. It's up to the communities to decide what statues they want to see. I don't care that much about statues. People will do what they do. Now, here at Primetime, we're against the tearing down of statues. Generally, we prefer to erect new statues because we learn from history. We don't erase it. But if there's one statue we can make an exception for to be torn down, it's Satan. The Satanic Temple is displaying a statue of Lucifer in the Iowa Capitol. We don't know why Iowa politicians sanction this. It's not clear Satanism is even a legitimate religion. But they put up their candles, their seal, a pagan pentagram, a Baphomet statue, which is an occult symbol, half goat, half human. They celebrated their Satanic victory by posting, Hail Satan! And then they put it next to the nativity scene which was a declaration of spiritual warfare. Though the temple went through the correct administrative channels to present in the rotunda, the display is getting pushback. One, I hope people realize spiritual warfare is real, that there are evil, satanic um, forces that are trying to infiltrate our state. Iowa resident Shelley Flockhart said she was shocked to see the altar at the Capitol, so she organized a group to pray near the Rotunda's Christmas tree. It's a very dark, evil force. The temple did this same thing two years ago in the Illinois State Capitol, and it led to a Christian confrontation. So lawmakers in Iowa say their hands are tied. I'm not buying that. One of the state's representatives, John Dunwell, said they can't discriminate on the basis of religion and they could either allow all displays or none. Give me a break. It's not a religious display. It's a religious attack. It's a satanic attack on Christianity. The satanic temple originally wanted to put a real goat head on their statue and stink up the Capitol with it. These are the kind of lunatics we're dealing with. The Satanic Temple founder went on CNN and said he's not trying to be provocative, which is like burning the Bible on the steps of a church and claiming you're not trying to be provocative. Was the intent to simply provoke people who of Christian faith who might find that to be against their religion, not just objectionable in and of itself, but actually against something that they believe? Well, for one thing, no, we don't do this just to provoke and offend them. But I also want to offer the caveat that even if that were what we were doing, even if we were offering criticism of mainstream traditional religious organizations, I would defend our right to do that. So these are the same people who started putting Satan clubs in elementary schools. They're even opening up the Satan club at a Tennessee elementary school right after Christmas. How do the parents think about that? Why bring the devil into a school that's full of minors. My children will not be involved in that, you know, at the school program. Satan has no room in this district. These are very young children, and they are being used for a political agenda or some kind of agenda that has no place in our schools. I actually spoke to the leader of the Satanic Temple, Lucian Greaves, about these clubs last year. If Satan's evil, why should kids be in an evil club? Well, obviously we don't view Satan as evil, and it really doesn't matter to us what your mythology is surrounding Satan. Now, Primetime believes the Satanic Temple can express themselves however they want. If you want to worship evil, go right ahead. It's your choice to go to hell. But we draw the line at ridiculing our religion, physically and symbolically attacking it in public before Christmas. We don't have to allow that. We don't have to tolerate your intolerance. One man actually took matters into his own hands. Michael Cassidy, 
a former U.S. Navy Reserve pilot from Mississippi, traveled to the Iowa Capitol and tore down the Satanic Temple's display, knocked the goat head Satanic statue right down. He said he was following his conscience. The Satanic people got angry. Imagine that. They denigrated the local government for following the law and opening the public forum to all viewers. And they still felt the need to tear down the statue or the, uh, the display that was put up by our Iowa congregation. I think it was a real act of cowardice. It's cowardice dressed up as heroism. There's a certain point at which we need some adults in the room to tell people what our liberal, liberal democratic values are, what their value is, why we uphold them, and what they're good for. Guy puts a goat head next to the manger on Christmas, and now he's saying they need adults in the room. The Satanic Temple's now lecturing us on liberal democratic values? <laughs> Cassidy's arrested, and he's charged with fourth-degree criminal mischief. He's been released, and Americans are rallying.